To really understand the polyphony and note priority of the SP-202, refer to page 19 in your owner's manual or the graphic that we're going to put up on the screen. As you can see, normal playback in the internal memory, when you have a mono sample and you play that sample, it takes up one voice. But if it's a stereo sample, it takes up two voices. Now remember, the polyphony of this machine is four voices total that can play at any one time. So if you reverse the playback of a mono sample, it takes up twice as much polyphony, so two voices, or four voices if it's stereo. If you time stretch an internal sound that's mono, it takes up all three voices. But notice, for a stereo sample, time stretching is not available because it would take up way too many voices. Delaying the same way, three voices for a mono internal sample, and you cannot delay a stereo internal sample. For filter one and two, notice that you have a number two with an asterisk by it. That means if it's a mono sample, at anything other than hi-fi, it takes up two voices. But if it's hi-fi, it takes up three voices. And if it's stereo, it takes up all four voices. Same thing with ring modulator. Two voices if it's anything other than hi-fi, three if it is hi-fi, and all four if it's stereo. But if you look at the memory card, normal playback of a mono sample is three voices, and all four voices if it's in stereo. But reverse playback is not available, time stretch is not available, delay is not available. If you're using filter one and two of a mono sample on the memory card, it takes up all four voices, but yet stereo isn't available. And the same thing with ring modulator. Now look at the source pad on the right hand side. If you are going to play the source pad, it's going to be normal playback, two voices. You cannot reverse the source pad because that's incoming audio. You cannot time stretch it or delay it, but you can apply a filter to it and it'll take all four voices. The same thing with ring modulator. 